Welcome to Adding and Subtracting Decimals with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to add and subtract decimals and the steps we need to take in order to successfully do so. On your screen, you see four problems, two addition and two subtraction. We're going to work through these four together and if at any point you want to try a couple on your own, feel free to press pause, solve the remaining problems or whichever problems you want to solve, press play when you're ready, and check your work with mine. At the top of your screen in blue, you see the steps to adding and subtracting decimals. So keep those in mind as we work through. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have 45 and 6 tenths plus 3 and 89 hundredths. So our first step, we need to set the problem up, rewrite it vertically or up and down. And we need to line up the decimals. So we'll write out 45 and 6 tenths plus 3 and 89 hundredths. The decimals are lined up, therefore all the places are lined up. Now we can insert placeholder zeros if need be. So take a look at the 9. It's kind of hanging off to the right. The 3 and 89 hundredths goes to the hundredths place. So we want the 45 and 6 tenths to go to the hundredths place too. That way we have something above the 9 there and it lines up a little better. You can add zeros to the right of a decimal and it does not change the value of that number. So again, you can use placeholder zeros to the right of a decimal and it doesn't change the value. This only works for decimals though. You can't add zeros to the right of whole numbers or else it does change the value. So use placeholder zeros and then we can add or subtract. So zero plus nine is nine. Six plus eight is 14. Carry the one. Bring your decimal straight down. It should be lined up throughout the whole problem. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 3 is 9, and then 4. So 49 and 49 hundredths. Number 2, we have 15 plus 4 and 88 hundredths. So for a whole number, we put the decimal right after it. Now we can line up 4 and 88 hundredths. And this is addition. So here, the problem's offset. Like number one, we had to use placeholder zeros. So for the 15, we could put a zero in the tenths and a zero in the hundredths. Now we're all lined up and ready to add. Zero plus eight is eight. Zero plus eight is eight. Bring the decimal straight down. 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 plus 0 there is 19. Or I'm sorry, you have the 1 there which gives us 19. So 19 and 88 hundredths. So number 3 we have subtraction, which it's the exact same rules except when you get to this third step over here, you subtract. So let's write out our problem, lining up the decimals. and it's subtraction. So let's put the placeholder zero there, and now it's time to subtract. So we cannot do zero minus seven, so we need to borrow. So now we have 10 minus seven, which is three. Cannot do five minus six, so we need to borrow. So we get to 15 minus six, which is nine. Bring the decimal straight down. So we need to borrow again, we can't do four minus nine. So we need to borrow from the three or the tens place here. And we get 14 minus nine, which is five. And then we have the two. So 25 and 93 hundredths. Line up the decimals, use placeholder zeros, add or subtract. So just like number two here, we have a whole number in number four. So the 23, and we put the decimal right after. Then we have eight 
and 8 tenths and subtract. So let's put the placeholder 0 and we are ready to solve. So we can't do 0 minus 8. Don't just drop the 8 there. We need to borrow. 10 minus 8 is 2. Decimal straight down and we need to borrow again. So 12 minus 8 is 4 and then we have the 1. So 14 and 2 tenths. So that's adding and subtracting decimals for you and the rules or steps we need to take in order to get to the correct answer. So make sure you line up your decimals, use placeholder zeros, and then add or subtract. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.